In the course of the past couple weeks doing this show, you've said the stove is going to be a little more of a simmer this season, this offseason. We know that that's uh, kind of the condition right now between the Yankees and D.J. LeMahieu, seeing how things are developing. Do you get the sense that he's still their main priority, but there are other teams getting involved now? Other teams are definitely interested in D.J. LeMahieu. Who wouldn't be interested in D.J. LeMahieu, as I try and say it better that second time around? But you're right, Bob. He remains their number one priority. Discussions are ongoing. The Yankees have had discussions with his camp. They have told him how much they want him back. His agent has talked about a five-year, $100 million deal. So as we've stated on this show, how deep are the Yankees willing to dive into those financial waters? Remember, 2020 was a different season for every major league team. You're going to hear about this all offseason, but it is a reality. Teams lost a lot of money, so that's why this offseason is going to move so much slower, Flash. They're trying to figure out how to make the financials work. Yeah, and the bottom line is DJ LeMay, you put himself in a great position as one of the top free agents out on the market this offseason, and he's going to gain a lot more interest. And with all the finances being down from the pandemic last year, you wonder who can still be involved. We know the Yankees are going to be a big player, but I think about it from DJ's standpoint. He's a 32-year-old player. He's probably coming down to this will be his last big contract. And where do you want to spend the next three, four, maybe five years of your career? In New York as a Yankee, which he admitted that he loved the two years. He performed well under the bright lights. And he's going to have a chance to win a championship every year. It just sounds like a marriage that has to happen between these two sides, the Yankees and DJ, because it's been so productive for two years. All right, we're going to keep an eye